Hi everyone, welcome. Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm Marcy Best, current independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And thank you for joining me on this Wednesday evening. For those that are uh, demonstrators, we got to see the holiday catalog today. And let me just say to the customers, start saving your money. It is a great catalog. There are so many cute things in there. I know you're gonna start seeing some sneak peeks really soon. We get to order next week. Of course, I'll overnight it and do an, an opening box. And I'm sure my granddaughter will help me because she'll be in town. So that's what we'll do. I think we can order, I think, I don't know exactly Wednesday. Wednesday, I believe. So if um, I can order Wednesday, it'll be here Thursday. So I'll do a, a, a video then. Let's see, if they're not here, that's okay, then uh, we'll do it another time. Norway, Randy, welcome. Um, I got to go on the incentive trip to Norway and it was beautiful there. I had a wonderful time. So hello, hi Krista, uh, Crystal, Gloria, Trina, Seal and Barb, Sandra, Carrie, Brenda, hello everybody. So today I was kind of debating on what to do. Well, we have a huge special coming up with sales on kits. I have a kit that I've been wanting to play with and I haven't yet, so I'm gonna show you that. Um, and I'm also gonna show you a few other kits, just kind of, we'll look at them really quickly, just to kind of give you some ideas because the kits are a great product to take on a trip. Um, if you're having one of those days that your mojo's just not flowing and you're not quite sure what you wanna do, um, the kits are a great way that you can sit and relax and craft. I have one that my grandson played with and he loved it. Um, I have a lot of other ones. I just went and grabbed a few off the shelf to, to share. So we're just going to look at those. I also have some um, classes that I'm going to show you um, that I have kits still available. So if you're interested, I have those available. And I also remember when we worked on this card, I'm gonna show you what I did with the rest of the DSP that I had for that, that I created. Um, what else I have on here? Paper share, the new catalog, I will be doing a paper share. So I will get a sign up sheet going soon. And I just need to, I kind of wrote everything out. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. So I'm gonna go back through, make sure I have all the paper listed, kind of uh, figure out my price and I will get a um, sign up for that ready to go. Uh, oh, Joanne, I'm glad you did. Oh, Sandra, I'm glad you caught a live too. Yay, that's fantastic. Well, welcome. So there's a, are a few things we're gonna go over and we're just gonna kind of relax and I'm gonna play with a kit I've been wanting to play with. I was gonna come up with another card. To be honest, I just finished my second 50 card swap for um, um, Backstage. So I just finished that one and whoo, I'm gonna be doing a video on that one in the future, but that one was a, a lot of work and I'm glad it's done. So that one is done. And so today I was kind of like, you know what? The new catalog came out, I was helping my team. Um, we also had like a little refresh on our website for demonstrators. So I was helping team members today. And um, so I decided to let's do the kits. It, there's a special, it's it's up to 30% off of kits. It's gonna be a great, a great deal. So um, in fact, I have a flyer. So I'll show you that really quick. Up to 30% shop the kit collection. So when you go into the store, you can just type in kits and they'll all come up and you can see them all. There's two of them today that I'm looking at that is going, they're out of stock right now, but as long as it says currently unavailable, that means they are coming back. If you want to know the specific day and need to know that, um, let me know, uh, send me an email and I'll look it up for you and let you know when they'll, they'll be coming back. All right, let's see, hi Nicole, how are you? Hi Linda. Um, so that, that will be coming back. Um, let's see, gosh, there's so many things. My bingo for August, remember that I must have um, a minimum of 25 people to participate. Um, my goal, of course, is more than that because then um, money works out a little better. I still want to be able to give out the $100 prizes. 
So we do four projects with four bingo games. We have a lot of fun. Um, it's a relaxing evening. Create your projects at your leisure. So your kids go to you after bingo night, usually the next day. And then that way you can get them and then go back to the video and create them at your leisure. Also, don't forget, I made a little change that if you RSVP by August 5th, you get a free gift. So I used to give free gifts on all of them, but to be honest, um, I'm trying to do a class plus bingo, um, plus doing that every month. And during the summertime, it slows down a bit. So I just want to be able to uh, continue to afford to do this and make it affordable for everybody else. And so um, if you take that in mind, please do the RSVP as soon as you can. So I want to make sure you get a full size fun for gift. Um, let's see what else that so here's a little bit I did do a sneak peek for August I have three cards finished so I haven't showed the sneak peek before so here it is so those are three cards the first one of course is the country um, country oh gosh it just went out of my head countryside um, stamps a set and the dies the dies, we will cut everything out. There is a stamp that I use on it that if you don't have the stamp, you can do something else with it and I'll give you alternatives. So don't worry about that. The second one is the one, and I don't have the names in front of me because they're over on my counter across the room, but it's the one with the hourglass on it. It's beautiful. And I think the only thing you need is that flower stamp at the top is part of the set but you could definitely use a different flower set. So you could put a different flower and leaf up there. So don't worry about that one. The next one is a fancy fold. At the top, the top one is also a fancy fold, but the one to the right there that with the doily is a fancy fold. So you will get everything in there, the doily, the circles. The only thing is, again, I added some flowers and some stamps that came from I don't remember which set, but I will look it up and let you know. I will post it on my Facebook page. So those are the ones. Usually what I try my hardest to do is create something where if you don't have that particular set, you can do something else with it. I mentioned before, I won't use the ice cream set because if you don't have the ice cream set, it kind of defeats the purpose of the card. But for these items, there's a lot of die cuts that make the card. And then I add some flowers and sentiments, and you can use that for any set that you have. Oh, Gloria, I'm glad you liked it. Good, speaking of that, I'm gonna show the cards. So I think everybody got their card kits today for the Hey Chuck class that I had. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I have available. And if you would like a kit, there's links below. And you can purchase um, the kit still. I had somebody just came and bought two additional Hutch Hut kits. So I did make some. So what I'm going to start doing is showing you if I have any left over, um, I'm going to show you what I have. So this was my Daisy class. So if you're interested in this class, it um, is available still on my blog. And you can, oh, Carol, you haven't seen, received them yet? then you must be the one person, I think there was one person that will get it tomorrow. So um, there was one for tomorrow. So if you don't want a sneak peek of them, I'll tell you when I'm gonna show them. Uh, but this is the Daisy class, so there's the first one. Here's the second one, which is a PDF. Um, let's see, did you get a PDF with this? I don't remember. I believe so, yes you did. Uh, but that's a fancy fold. And then this one, and I've showed these before. And then this is the last one, which is a mini um, slimline card. So these are the daisies. So those are available. You could get the kit and I will send you the private link for the video and the PDF if you are interested in that class. The next one is the last bingo I just had. I have more of those. Oh, good, Judy. I'm glad you did. Oh, you're fine, Carol. Okay. Yeah, there was one I could tell on my um, my USPS, you know, the website that it said one will be delivered tomorrow and I'm going to bet it's yours then if you didn't get it because everybody else there was yesterday or today. Um, so this was Bingo. So there's the Oh Happy Day 
and I gave I give you alternatives to do if you don't have like for example this stamp set or these flowers so I give you some alternatives and then here are the other two cards so this it was for the last bingo so if you're interested in it um, it's July bingo so you can pick up those um, also on my blog for sale and you'll get the whole kit and you'll get the video the videos out there so there's that so I'm going to show the hay chick one a hey I keep calling it hay chick and it's hay chuck so I'm going to show you these cards that I do have kits still available it's listed below you will also get a video link and the PDF if you are not in the US for the hay chuck I believe I did it with the Daisy class also you can purchase just the um, PDF and the the video link so that you can still do those if you'd like all right oh I hope they didn't melt on the way because it was warm here today too so here is the first card that I did and here is look at I put a little wobble in there for you guys so there's the card all right I did on make sure you read your um, make sure you read your PDF I put a little helpful tips about your paper and stuff so there's that one the second one you've got something to crow about super cute I liked it, it as a little more masculine colors but all of them are just bright colors they could go to whoever this one is a fancy fold so you open it up okay so there's the third one the fourth one was a fancy card has a technique to it you pull your little tab here and you get to see your little color birthday celebrating chick okay and then you just have your card on the inside so on the front I showed you how to do the mechanism and everything on the inside again this one also has notes on your PDF so make sure you look over your PDF with your notes okay so those are the cards and I do still have several kits left I need to go online and change how many I have but um, they are available if you still want if you want to purchase them so there are the cards that I have available now all right now I'm going to show you remember when we created this card and I had I created this DSP and so we came up with this card that just has a little bit of fun in there with the bling and everything let's see I hope I can make the last one yeah Gloria just make sure you read your notes and then go ahead and um, on the PDF and watch the video and maybe watch the last card video first then go back and start it over and then create it it might give you a little more you know kind of see where you're going with everything and make sure you're doing it right that'll be helpful all right so here's this one what we did so what I did with it remember I had extra DSP this craft paper the card kits came with this little box so I decided even though it comes with eight cards I put four in here because they are you know a little thicker they have a lot of stuff on them but they're perfect to drop in a little gift for Christmas so I finished the four cards with that paper and then I did the lid and I added oops those are my envelopes okay so those are the I put the four envelopes and then I just did a little decoration on the side and then I decorated the sides okay so that's what I did with my box and these cards so I was able to finish a project so I could show you and then this would be a really cute gift idea to give out for like a secret Santa or something at work or a neighborhood gift I always like to do gifts for the two neighbors on the side of me and then we're kind of at a T and so the neighbors across and then diagonal I do gifts for the four of them so I might do something like this um, so they have some little cards I usually give them to them at the beginning of December um, sometimes it's baking items it just depends being that I'm trying to be good I probably won't bake this year and my kids are not my daughter won't be in town um, and I'm not sure if my son's gonna go see his in-laws or be in town this year but um, so 
that's what I did. So I thought this was a super cute. So don't pass up these craft cards with the little box. They're perfect and you get eight of them. Um, but this just has four because they were kind of a larger cards. So there we go. That's kind of what I did with the DSP. I wanted to show you what my follow through was with that. I wanted to show you what kits are still available if you're interested. All right, I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. So I know I've told you guys before, I have two monitors. This one is my program that I use when I'm recording so I can switch screens and all that. I don't do a phone and an iPad. I have a desktop with two monitors. This one is the one that has my YouTube on it so I can see your chat and everything. Um, so I wanna make sure, it is a fun gift idea, Linda. It's, it is, and it's so fun and easy to make. You just pop the box together because it comes in the kit and then you just measure and put your paper on. Super simple. So what I wanna do is I do have some kits. I pulled out some. So a lot of them I've started, some of them my grandson um, played with and did some, um, made a card for his mom. And then there's a kit that I wanna start um, and play with because I haven't been able to and I wanted to play with it. But I wanted to show you a few that I have so let's start with this one and this one I'm going to craft. So I just want to walk you through a few of these. Um, they're going to be on sale. So I might as well kind of show you. It's a lot easier if you see it, you know, on video, see what's going on. This one's called light the candles. And so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you everything that's in it. Cause I, I think you guys get the idea of the kits. You get a lot of pieces. You get your ink, you get your um, stamp set, which I have right here. So ooh, I should grab a paper so I can show you the stamp set. I'm gonna grab a dark piece so you can see it. So this one has happy birthday, hip hip hooray, or hip, yeah, hip hip hooray, which is backwards. Uh, light the candles and make a wish. And then you have like little like lights for the top of the candle, the little speckles. You've got happy birthday to you, birthday wishes, today's your day, wishing you a, and make a wish. So there's a lot of stamps in this set. And of course, remember that when you buy kits, the ones with the stamps in it, because you get a die and then you'll get a block, okay? Every time, it's not like paper pumpkin in your first one, you get your block. You get this every time in a kit. If there's a stamp set, you'll get these um, three items. So we'll just put those there and then you get, you know, your little dimensional or your little glue dots in here. You'll get dimensionals. This one happens to have the strips because there's shaker cards in here. And then you even get some little embellishment. So it gives you a little bit of everything. And then the directions, and I won't show you every kit like this, but I kind of just want to give you an idea. Your pictures are on the front. So if you're a picture person, that's great. You can open it up and it still shows you that, okay, so you would take, and I would spread these out a little bit better, but you could pull out one of these cards. You're gonna pull out one of these and you're gonna pull out one of these, that's for this card. And then it tells you exactly what to pull out. You're gonna pull out a blue banner, a long banner. So you would pull this out. Okay, so you're gonna pull out your blue banner and so it just tells you along the way as you go you're going to need one two three four five of your adhesive strips you're going to need and it tells you exactly how many gems so it tells you exactly what you need for each card okay same with this one you're going to pull out the yellow polka dot you're going to pull out the little cake cover um, which is right here i think Nope, this is the candle one. Oh, so this one's going to go also on your candle. See right here? So this one you're going to put behind your candles like this. So look how, I mean, that's already half the card right there. And look, it's two-sided. You know me. You could cut this, put this on here, add this onto a white thick card base, and then you have another piece over here for whatever. You can cut that out, put it on an envelope but there's envelopes in here too. So there's a lot of different pieces in here that you can get everything you want. You're gonna notice that there's four on the, of that design and four of this design. So I'm gonna show them to you. 
I'll put these back in here. So here's one, and here's the cake one. Okay, so you light, layered up your little, uh, it's like a stencil, but it's not, on top of the colors, and then it tells you what ribbon to get out, what embellishment to get out, everything you need. It's glittery. Okay, so then there, and it, it doesn't do the insides, but you definitely could, you know, do the insides, mix it up, have that extra piece of paper like this one. Take a strip off, add it in the bottom of the inside of your white base card, and just put this one on top of your base, right? So you have all this extra. And then it gives you some envelopes. So there's one, and then you have this one, which it looks like I pulled out multiple envelopes, but there we go. Um, and you can mix and match your envelopes, of course. Um, this one goes with the polka dots really well, but I like the stripes, it's all the same colors. So there's this one, hip hip hooray, today's your day. So it's got two labels on it, super cute. Again, you have your envelope, but you could cut this in half, add it on a thick card base, and again, you have that. You can add it on the inside a strip. You can also take this and add it on the outside of your envelope if you wanted. You know, there's a lot you can do, but these are great to take on a trip to, um, if you're just not, feeling very creative that day, you're not quite sure what you want to do, uh, those are the things that you could do is create kits. This one's called A Little Smile. This one I really like. Let me pull everything out here. So you're going to get your ink. You even get thread in there. Your stamp set. Let me pull this in. See if I can read it. Uh, my day is better because of you. Just a little smile. Thank you means so much. You are amazing. Uh, you made my day special. So you've got a sand dollar, a starfish, and some coral. And then that looks like it could just go on the ground for sand. It looks like, it, at first I thought it could be a school of fish, but no, it looks like it could go on the ground or something. So there you get it, the stamp set. And then this one is, you get a little pouch and then you can make four different cards, two of each. Okay, this is two sets I have together because I really like this set. So, in fact, I think I bought more than that, but this is what I have left of these. So this is the card, these are the cards. So here's one and then there's two. Here's three, now you'll notice I added dimensionals behind the sentiment. There, I don't think this came with dimensionals, it came with glue dots, but I like to pop stuff up a little bit, so I at least put the um, sentiments up and then everything else I just, I went ahead and glued down. And then here's your, oh, this one has an envelope. Let's see. Some of these have envelopes with them already, so there's those, and then here is the last one, okay? And then you have these two different envelopes, like this. Okay, so they match. So you could take all of your envelopes, match them up with your cards, and make another cute little set. Put this in your little pouch. It holds eight. Remember, you're doing two of each. Um, I just did one of each, just, just to show you. And then you could do like a little belly band or whatever, and you could give this as a little gift to somebody. It's really cute. Um, and of course, it comes like this. You'll have a bunch of pieces. Like I layered these to make them. So you can, I stamped them. You get your little pieces like this. It tells you exactly what to do with it on the picture and on the instructions. And so, and you can put your starfish and of course you can make them, change them up however you want. And then put your coral, and there you go. So just kind of make up your little pieces and it comes with everything, okay? So I just kind of want to give you an idea. Sometimes, you know, you think, oh kids, I don't know, I don't need them, whatever. Um, I don't ever use these, I always use my big, um, my, my big stamp sets, but they're nice to have if you need them. Uh, Oh yeah, the cake and candle one, which is called Light Your Candles, is like 
one of the best ones. I love that one. Um, this one's called Robot Buddies. And what I like are these are great gifts, especially like the, the light the candles one. Somebody could just give that to somebody as a gift. And then, you know, your mom, your grandma, whoever, your grandkids, uh, your daughter, whatever. And then she, you know, how often you, do you need a card at the very last minute? Um, so you could just make that card and they, they'd be ready to go. This one was a cute little robot set and it's called Robot Buddies. And it's just, this is the one Grayson did. Um, he picked out, you know, which robot he wanted. And so this is the stamp set. It says, happy birthday, nice and big. Let's be friends. And then it's got little some little gears and little robot, you know, bodies and faces to put together. Oh, let me put that up there. So you can see it. And then there's the three different ones. So this one has nine cards and envelopes. And you can just pick and choose and, and you know, mix and match. You've got your little sentiments, but look how cute this is. First of all, look at all those. These are stickers. So Grayson loved it. It's clean. He, he could just do stickers. He didn't stamp. He stickered, picked out what he wanted. He put a flower. He was giving his mom a flower on a little, with a little robot. Um, these are like little gears right here. Look at there's little bow ties. Super cute. And then look at googly eyes. All different colors of the set. How cute is that? He loved playing with this set. And then you get two inks in this one, which is fun. Pumpkin Pie and Bermuda Bay. And I hope all of these are still available. I think they are. See, this I might have gotten two sets because I still have a whole sheet. So again, your card bases, you could have two sides that you can cut in half. This one's really light, but it's got gears on it. I mean, super cute. That's right, Deborah. That's what I think. When you're just like, oh, what am I going to do? Um, or if you're going on a trip and you and you know you know you're gonna have to withdraw, it's not crafting. Um, these are always fun to take. Just grab some card bases and a trimmer, and you're off. All right. So you guys have seen this one. I've I've shown this one, the Boho Beach, and I actually this one I know is um, currently unavailable, um, but it's coming back. And so the, again, this one. Let's see. These two, here are the directions for these. Okay, and then so this one, oops, what did I do with them? This one is this one here, and this one is this one. Okay, so those are exactly what the card shows, but I did cut these, and they're on white, thick card base. I like the thicker, so um, that's what I like to do. So um, I changed it up. I added the chair. I just made it look a little different. Um, by Well, actually, I didn't change this one. This one's the same, except the card base. And same with that one, card base. These are the ones I saved. I changed up. This one, I did the chair and the umbrella. And then I just added this. I stamped that. I added some extra leaves and stuff in the background. And I didn't do the insides. Um, I don't think I did the insides on any of them, no. I just wanted to show some you know, options. And I'll show you what stamp sets you get in a minute. Here's another one I did. I just used this background with the deckled rectangles. Um, then I used the pecan pie and our image here, our scene, and they're all deckled. So it just kind of gives it that beachy feel. I did this one. And on this video, excuse me, I showed you how to do the paper. And so I just kind of stamped back here, added some paper, um, and just kind of cut up one of the card base fronts. So I used one and the other one I used for that. And then I did, I did a second one on a video. So if you want to see how I did that. So now you'll see I have all these pieces in this box. Here's another one I did. I thought this reminded me of coffee or a mocha or whatever. So I decided to do a little coffee card on that. And I think on these I did do, I think maybe just this one I did the inside. Because I, I did it, yeah, I think I just did this because it's, you know, partially I used the whimsical, uh, whimsy dies on the outside. Okay, so there's that one. And then the, again, this is the stamp set. 
Uh oh, I lost my brown piece of paper. Well, here we go. So this one says, uh, enjoy your day and sit back and relax. And then you've got, this one is like sand specks. And then these are the two leaves that we have in there. Okay, so a great set. And then again, you just have all your pieces in here. You have twine. This one, they give you a block and dimensionals. And then here's all your little pieces for your chairs and your leaves. Here's our envelopes. So again, you could even tear these up and make something out of them if you wanted. And then I have tons of strips because you never know when you're going to use it. And that is this one, which I love. So this one is called Boho Beach. And it's unavailable right now, but it will be coming back. Okay, so this one I haven't used yet either. Confetti Birthday. It is also um, unavailable right now, of course. I think I gave my brown paper to one of these boxes. So I'll just show you this one. So this is another great birthday one. You have a candle, let's party, happy birthday, and oh, happy day. So that one's really nice. Oh yeah, the medallion one was nice. And then this one has blueberry bushel. And this is as far as I got. Um, I was going to pull this out to just show you what we get in. Because this is how your kit's going to come inside here. Okay, but it comes with tissue and it looks really nice. So these are shaker cards. And I haven't done these yet. Um, but it tells you again exactly what goes where. You get sequins, you get everything in here. If you're on the Stamping Up um, YouTube page, you'll see Sarah does these a lot um, and just kind of shows what's involved in them. And sometimes she creates them. I haven't seen this one or the next one. Um, okay, so this one has a block. This one has sequins, white liner tape. So the sequins have stars and pink and they have pearls in it. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And then I'm just going to show you because I'm not going to do this set. But it shows you all the panels that probably go in the back because you know the inside of the cards are white. So here's an envelope. Let's see. So we have different envelopes. Those and those and these because there's three different cards, right? Oops, let me pull this back in. So this one has three different ones. All right, so you have three different, and it looks like three of each. So there's all your envelopes. And now you have your little pouches to put your sequins in. So this is going to be a different kind of card to make as a shaker card. It's going to be really nice because you've got these pouches in here, and I've heard about them. We do not sell these, but we do sell card pouches that you can use, but then you have to fold them over. But these are small pouches that you can put your, your goodies in there for your shaker and then fit them in a window, which is probably any of these cards. But here's the cake one, this one right here. So you're gonna poke that out. It looks like you're gonna take this in the background but you're going to take your pouch, put your goodies in there. It's got that little seal thing you can take off. You're going to fold that up, I'm assuming. And you're going to put that right here. But there's probably white liner tape so that it gives you space. But look how easy that is. And then you have your shaker card. So there's a lot of really great ideas with the kits. And then you've got like your window. Here's the little pluses. You've got circles for your sentiment. There's all kinds of great things in here for you to use. And then there's your package, that one. And then you put that circle in the middle on top right here. Okay, so really nice shaker cards. A lot of ideas and fun things. And I, we don't sell these little pouches, like I said, but I'm guessing we could probably measure these. I'll tell you what they are. Three and a half. And I'm going to say they go right up to right here, four and a quarter. 
So three and a half by four and a quarter go takes you right to the to the flat there. And usually that's the size it'll be. So you could probably buy those and make yourself your shaker cards and have these. Now I have taken our large, our card pouches and I have made them, I don't know if I have one right here. No. Uh, and then I've made those where you just fold, fold the side behind and I run adhesive, fold it, and then, you know, you can still make your shaker cards with it. So anyway, there we go. So there's all the goodies we get in this one. Now the next one is the one I want to make because I haven't, I haven't made it. I haven't seen it. I did see that it was posted on YouTube by Stampin' Up, but I haven't done it. So I thought I might as well, let's try it. This is the newest kit called Blossom Wishes. I bought two of them. I tend to get rid of one box and put them in here together. So let's take our, I did pull the directions out. That's the only thing I did. And this one, this is how it'll come brand new. There's no stamping in this one. This one I think is $13, you guys. Totally a great set for anybody, especially if they're not stampers, because you don't have to stamp. So let's pull everything out. Look how pretty they are. You're going to get your purple, which are, I, I would guess that this is a Orchid Oasis. Um, it's a beautiful color. Doop, doop, doop. L um, Lemon Lolly, Orchid Oasis, Petal Pink, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Wild Wheat. Aren't those colors just so pretty? So let's go ahead and figure this out. Okay. So, kit for every occasion. Make sure when you um, get your kit, you choose English or whatever language you choose. We're going to do one of each. So I'm just going to pull everything out because I don't like to, I like to put them back in like this. So the first one, I know we're going to need one of those and one of these. So we'll pull those out. It looks like maybe these were, no. I thought maybe they were layered just so, but no. All right. So we're going to move those envelopes out of the way. And I'm just going to set these up here. This one and this one. All right, so this one needs the pink. We're going to put that over here. Might as well get our cards out, right? So here is the card for the slim line. Here is the card to look at their textured. They have texture on them like an embossed already. So this one's going to go in here. This one, the little one, wants this. So we're just going to pull our pieces and put them together. This one wants two of these, so make sure it's for the ones with the lines in it. Pull them out carefully. That one will go there. Hi, Melanie. How are you? All right, so there's two. All right, so that's that. And we don't need these anymore because we're just doing two. But look at how much, look at how many dimensionals you got. All right, we're going to put this one over here. That's all we need. We don't need those. We already pulled one. All right, so here. Okay, so you have different languages on this one. So this kit may only be one language because there's no stamp sets, right? So we could just have, you know, use whatever you want here. And it looks like you get two sheets of them. And look, they're foil. Look how pretty. So I'm going to set one sheet aside. And we're going to pull out a happy birthday. And there should be three. One, two, and three on the third page. That's why we get two pages. So that we can choose um, our language. All right, so there's the happy birthday there. And this other one says, you matter, which is gonna be right here, you matter. So you get four of each. They just fill up the page, which is nice. And then these right here are different languages. So there's that one. So our sentiments are taken care of. And a lot of times you get extra stuff. All right, so this one, we're gonna take two sets of, I thought, the, oh, these look like peaches or nectarines. I'm not sure. 
they look like nectarines to me. Um, and I think these are pears. So here's one pear, and that's all we need. So see, we have all these extra. We have extra here, we don't need these. So we're gonna move everything aside. This, oh, what's this? Oh, these, oh, okay. I need, so we have large and small. See them? They're, they are vellum, like blossom. So we need three large, so one, I'm probably gonna lose them, two, three, so here's three, dropped one already, three large and two small for this card. And I'm not gonna change these cards up we're going to do them exactly like they say. And then this one needs four and four. So there's one line takes two cards. One, two, three. And what's nice about these is they're vellum, but look, they've got like the little yellow right in the center, kind of like the little blossoms would. Okay, so there's four of those, and then we need four small. Um, two, three, four. Okay, so we're done with those and I'm gonna use my own glue dots. So I'm just gonna set those aside. I do like to use those glue dots, but I like to use them when I'm traveling. Okay, so we pulled everything out for both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead. This tells me how many dimensionals and how many glue dots I can I can see that on the next page. So you can see on this card, it tells you to put dimensionals. So I'm going to pull in my dimensionals and put them where they tell me to because they're pretty good on where we need them. Two, three, and four. Okay, so there is the first card. There's that. And now our peaches, they're saying put one here, one here, and one here. Hmm. I don't know why I wouldn't put one above, but we'll see. We're gonna go with the directions. Okay, so there's that. And now we're going to bring in glue dots and we're going to put them on our leaf. So like I said, I know that you guys have probably seen this done because um, I know this kit's been out for a while, but I've been wanting to play with it and it's been a crazy week. I'm getting ready for company. The catalog came out. I helped teammates today. And so I decided, you know what? Okay, I'm going to turn this just like it is on the paper. So if you look, it shows you right there where to put the glue dots. And so I'm guessing there's a reason we're only putting them on the bottom. So there's one. I'm just gonna use my own glue dots. Like I said, I like to travel. And you can grab your little travel glue dots to go with you. It takes up a lot less space. And right there. So I put them where they want them. All right. Now it says put glue dots on your blossoms. Well, what I'm gonna do is put them on my glue dots. So I'm just gonna take my, oops, wrong one, blossoms. I gotta move that one over because I keep wanting to grab those. All right, and we should have, looking at my picture, we should have three and two. So three large ones. I'm gonna make sure the yellow is up. Doesn't look like it really matters. It's not kind of on both. One. Two. Ooh. These are so cute. Three. And now I have the teeny tiny Gotta really center the glue dots there. 
Whereas the glue dots that come with your kit are smaller, so if you if if that's the or if those are the ones that you want to use, then kind of making sure my yellow, you want the brighter part up, which is really close to tell. Okay, so I'm gonna tear these off because this is part of this. Okay. And now it just shows you how to put it together. And it's on this picture right here. So you want two dimensionals on your sentiment. So let's do that. Oops, I accidentally grabbed three. Hi, Tishana. Uh, what do you think of the new catalog? Um, I really like it. I really like it. I wish we had more time to play with it because there's a lot in there um, that I really like. So I'm already have ideas. I already kind of am thinking about my Christmas cards and what I want to do. All right, so now it shows you, we're going to put this on. Oh, I'm glad some of you haven't seen this either because I've seen the kit and I know I want to play in with it, but I just haven't yet. It is the newest one that just came out. And remember, these are all going on sale. Oh, there's a little splatter on here. At first, I thought I had something on there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and turn it like this so that your um, crease there is on the bottom. The, Binding, and I'm going to just bring this in so I can get it kind of even. And I, now I'm going to see, I like this, but you can't see the card behind it. And then it goes to your next card. So I'm going to go back to the front. And I like to look at, oh, I was like, it's upside down. I like to look at this because then I can kind of look at it and say, oh, okay, that's, you know, where it should go and where it's placed. So that's what I want to do. So the next thing, it looks like this is going to come right off the paper. Oh, we're going to put the, the okay, we're going to lay this. I'm not going to lay it down tight because we have our um, dimensionals on there, right? But see how it comes right to the edge and so does it there. But now I'm going to take these off of our peaches, I mean our pears, and I want to slide my pears under. I think you want your pears to to connect right there or that's where your flower will go. So I'm just going to kind of go right under here like this and now I get it because you're going to have part of your pear. Let me see here. I think it's going to go up farther. Part of your pear is going to go up on here on the side so that's why there's no dimensional right there. So I'm going to lay that just lightly. I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to turn, okay, I want to turn these a little bit outward a little. Okay, so I'm just going to lay them. Again, this goes right close to the edge. It doesn't go on the edge. Okay, so that is about where I want. So I'm going to push my Paris down and push my DSP. Now, I don't think they said put a DSP or a dimensional on the end of that, but I'm going to, so let me take a look. Uh, Judy, are you a demonstrator? You have to be a demonstrator to be able to see it. And if you haven't been able to see the catalog and you are a demonstrator, remember our website changed, so you need to connect your customer sign-in if you have one. You need to get one if you don't. And your demonstrator sign-in, and it'll link them together on the new website. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, it doesn't say to put anything right there, but it's lifted up on the dimensional, so I'm going to put a little dimensional underneath that. And you can cut the little tiny ones they gave you, but I, I have my little ones here, so I'm just going to take one and go right under my... I'm going to turn my dimensional the, the right way, so it can go right under, and it's too big. So we are going to... 
get rid of that one. And we're going to cut. I'm just going to cut a few right here. Take just half a one. I'm going to take the thing off here. Oh, you have done that. Oh, it should be right on the front page. You just click click on it. It should be right there in the, it, it, it's scrolling or go where the catalogs are and it'll show you. Okay, so there we go. So there we go. We're going to lay that down. And now we're going to put our sentiment on. Yeah, what's happening now in catalogs? It'll take you right there. Okay, where'd my picture go? Here we go. Here's our picture. And it's going to go right here. It looks like it's going to touch. They have it all the way to the edge. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to come in where the stitching is because I like to see the stitching. And then we're going to have it layer right over on top of our pear. Look how cute that is. Here's our envelope. Oh wait, we need our we need our little oh we're gonna need some gems on this too. We'll do that at the end. All right, so let's take our um, little I'm gonna curl them a little bit. These are the large ones, so I'm gonna put the large ones ones right here. And I'm gonna curl it a little bit, not a lot. And I'm going to put that one right here. And it looks like the little one I'm going to put here, two little ones. Oops. Yeah, I think we definitely need some gems on here though, don't you? So we can add I mean, with all the foil and everything, it's really pretty like it is. You really don't have to. I'm going to put another one up there. So there's the card. Look how cute that is. But I'm going to put gems. Let's just do that now. Let's see. I'm going to do iridescent because I want them to... Ooh, wait a minute. I have another idea. So here I am changing it already. But hold on. Let me reach. I'm going to pull in our pearls. And I'm going to pull out the, I want to put the darker ones, I think. Let's see what it looks like. So these are the, um, what is it, Oasis Starry Sky. I'm going to put Starry Sky. And I'm going to put them on all the big ones because they're all the same size. Uh, we're going to put them on the small too. Let's put them on the small too. Why not? Oh, this one looks very crooked. All right, so there is card number one. And we added our Starry Sky Pearl. They're really pretty in person. You probably can't see it until just about now. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. All right, so those are really pretty. The next card we're going to use the iridescent and see what that looks like. Do them a little bit different. We'll swap those. All right, so that is card number one. So you have your envelope. Again, this is a white card base, so I just kept it the same. Um, but you could switch that out, cut this out for the front, and put it onto thick card um, card base. But honestly, if you put a liner in here. Um, of the Orchid Oasis with white on top of it, it's going to thicken that up. So it'll be, it'll be just fine. So there we go. So there is that. Look at the foil on the leaves. The foil on the sentiment is just really pretty. The white in the back, it's really hard to see, but it's, it's embossed. So it's like a chevron kind of pattern. And it's really pretty. And then this has speckles on it. And it's got like these slits. And stitching. I mean, there's a lot of detail. There's shading on your pairs. Really pretty. And you didn't stamp a thing. Isn't that neat? And then there you have your pretty envelope. And honestly, you know what would be really cool? Is if you um, pulled out your 6x6 six six paper. Ooh, I don't know if it'll fit on this one. 
well, it won't fit, but not on this card. But you could have put your polka dot or find a DSP that's like a, a shape, like polka dots or whatever, and do your your line, that, your uh, flap, and it'll kind of match. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's pull in this one. All right, we'll look at the pictures again. Make sure we put our adhesive where it's supposed to go. It starts here at the bottom. All right, so it says, put dimensionals on your fruit. So let's do that first. And it shows just one on each. One and, uh-oh. Don't you hate that when that comes off? Just I put it right back on there. There we go. All right, so your happy birthday, same thing. You're gonna use your dimensional and it shows one right here on the top and you're gonna put two on the bottom. One right here and one right here. I kind of go with what they say and until unless you think differently, but there's usually a reason uh, because these are going to pop up on the side of the circle, so you don't want to add too much. Oh yeah, the camera doesn't, it never does it justice. In person, it's always better. Okay, so now I put my flowers down here so I can see them. Not have them fly away. Alright, so now we're going to do our dimensionals. And it shows to do them um, on the corners. So these are always great to have. Like I said, you can do, like I showed you on the one kit, um, do alternatives, change it up, do, you know, whatever you want. Um, there's pieces in here that are amazing that would work with other sets. Um, okay, so there's that one. And then, um, you know, there's just so much you can do. All right, we're gonna do the leaves in a minute. Let's go ahead, and add, because I'm doing my own dimensionals, whereas these have a little paper backing on them so that you can just peel, you know, peel them off, put them on your project, and then peel the little paper off. Um, I use my regular ones again. Like I said, I use those for travel. So I'm gonna just do this first before I put my glue dots on my leaves and then end up having it stuck to my elbow or something. So let's do part, this part first. Because it looks like we're gonna be um, tucking in the leaves. So that's why you don't wanna to put too many dimensionals like around here is because the leaves are gonna go like this it looks like in the picture, okay? So it's gonna be coming out. So but we can go ahead and add this now. So I'm gonna make sure it's centered the best I can. I can't believe there's gonna be a kit sale. Time to stock up. Sometimes there's, you know, you wanna get a group of friends together and maybe introduce them to stamping. This is the perfect thing. They don't have to stamp or they're stamping very little. They know the color, they know exactly what they're gonna be using. And that is always a good thing. All right, so let's do our, I'm gonna just put my apples on, or I'm gonna call them nectarines because that's what I think they are. I'm gonna put my nectarines there. I'm gonna take this and see, oops, this one comes this way, see? They're two different ways, so be careful of that too. All right, so you want the leaves pointing up, so that one's gonna go here, this one will go here. And you're going to Put it up there. Let's see, right about here. I want to make sure my nectarines are showing. And bring this back down where you want it, because you want you want this to go right about where the center of your nectarines are. So you can push those back up. You can also trim it off if your dimensional is in the way. But there's you can move them up. Okay, so just kind of get right where you want. Well, I want to see the nectarines like it shows here. They're kind of towards the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And put that right about... Right about there. 
Okay, now I'm going to do my glue dots. And on here, it just shows on both of them, you're going to take a glue dot and you're going to put it right here in the middle. Well, that one just rolled right up on me. Hold on, let me get my... This one's almost done. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this glue dot right here. And then this one, we're going to put in the middle also. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other one while I'm right here because they're both a little bit different. This one's completely separate. This one's attached with another little a little um, leaf right there. So I'm trying to follow the rules here, make sure we get them where they're supposed to go. And then this one. All right, there we go. All right, this one goes to the top. This one goes to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here and I'm going to put my peaches or my nectarines. So I, don't, I can't decide what they are. And I'm going to turn this a little bit. Okay. I'm guessing my dimensional is in the way. So I am going, these are attached. So I'm going to cut this off right here. I'm guessing maybe I should have done that first. There we go. I should have moved my dimensional down a little bit. And then this one goes right about there. It doesn't have to go right in the center because you're going to put a flower. So we'll do that in a minute. Now these, same kind of idea. You're going to put those on here. And you could do this if you wanted. Attach them on here first. So like this one's going to go here. Let's try it this way. And this one's going to go right here. Okay. So your flowers, everything's attached and you can kind of twist this over, twist that over and then go under. And those, that's going to come out to the top because again, my dimensional is in the way unless I go this way. No. I kind of think maybe I should have done this first and it doesn't tell you that. It, it adheres at first, but all right, well, that's okay. We're going to go just like this. We'll just cut. It looks like the tiniest bit off right here. So it's still attached. So that's what I'm going to do. Make sure your leaves are in the front. And attached. There we go. And I'm going to put those right there. Okay, so there you go. And because this one's barely on there, I'm going to add one more glue dot. Let's see. Why are the nectarines going in a different direction? It shows the left one on top and the right one tucked underneath. Oh, you know what? You're right. These probably should have went up here and these down here. I don't think it matters. Um, but yeah, good eye. So I think you're right. This, so these go down here and these go up here. But the leaves are correct. And that's probably what I was having an issue getting things lined up. So thank you, Cindy. That was probably a little easier. But I'm going to put a flower right there anyway, like it shows. But that might have been my spacing might have been a little better if I would have seen that. I need to look up and read this a little more often, I guess. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine. It'll work, but I think you're right. I think it would have been better to put the right leaves on the right nectarines. All right, so let's get our glue dots here. And I'm going to put our little blossoms. I guess there is one side that the yellow is a little brighter. So try and put that side up. Oh. 
little tiny guys. Oh my gosh, my I bought my grandson a little Paw Patrol flashlight. He's been getting a little scared at night uh, when he wakes up. If he has a dream, he wakes up. And oh, this one kind of, oh yeah, that's fine. And uh, so I bought him a little flashlight for at nighttime. I said, oh, if you get scared, just turn your flashlight on. And it had the smallest screw. It was like an, worse than an eyeglass screw. It was so tiny. And so I had to take it out to put the batteries in. And I know it's just a safety feature because it the, the lid screws on. And I'm like, I don't even know if you need that. And then I was like, oh, what am I saying? He's going to be five. Of course he needs that. And so that's why <laughs> that's why they put it on there. But of course I dropped it. We had to go hunting in the chair for it. All right. So I'm bending them just a little bit. And I'm just going to put a big one here. They look a lot whiter, whiter online um, than they do once they're on the card. They kind of just look like, I'll show you in a minute, but I mean, it's still really cute. We're going to put embellishments on them, so I'm fine with it, but they kind of look like they're not as vibrant. But I'm guessing it's because the picture needs to be a good picture so we can see it, you know. All right, and then another one right here. Uh oh, I think I'm missing one. Oh, no, I'm not. Right here. Right here. There we go. All right, so there's that. Oh, I was thinking, I just put them on the bottom, but I guess I didn't count enough out. Or I lost them already. Oh, I think I just counted the top ones. Okay, so we need more. That's fine. Where's our flowers? Have you guys used the kits before? Has anybody used the kits? If you have, which kits have you used? Well, I'm looking for my vellum flowers that I can't find. I didn't poke them out. This one has double the flowers. But now, I, oh, here they are. Here they are. Well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna poke some out. We'll do the same thing. large and then small if you guys have had a kit if you've used it which ones are your favorite which ones do you like there's so many But I like this because it's not really flowery, so it's a little bit of a change. I'm going to do one more small one. And if you're a demonstrator and you've seen the catalog, what do you think? All right, so here's a big one. And a little one. Right there. A little one. Again, I'm just trying to fold them a little. Not a lot. We're going to put gems on them. And there's that one and a big one. Those are right next to each other. Okay, so now we just need our gems. Yay. Let's see. I have seven paper pumpkin kits that I still haven't put together. Gloria, you are not the only one. Tori Lynn, I have used them with my granddaughter. She's 12 and loves it. Oh, yeah, my granddaughter is eight, and she loves them, too. She got paper pumpkin for a long time. Um, but then she got so busy, and she wasn't catching up. 
So I need to, I think the kits are my next step for her because they're so cute. And she can pick out which ones she wants. But my daughter also really liked the, um, the paper pumpkin because it never failed. She needed a, a birthday card or whatever, but I think I'm going to show her these kits too and tell her, well, this way you can choose what you want, have them on hand, and know that you have a birthday card ready to go, and then you can say, hey, guess what? It's craft night. <laughs> so many times you know the kids need a birthday card for a birthday party or a teacher gift or birthday teacher you know appreciation or whatever a bus driver and that way you can just kind of make a card and keep all of your stamp sets from your kits or your paper pumpkin all right um i even think it would be kind of fun to put a large one here and maybe a large one here but I'm gonna also put a medium one like right there so there we go so that one has a lot of sparkle still looking through the catalog oh I know Nicole I have to go back and do it again I've done it like four times already and I keep seeing stuff and I'm already writing my list out because I'm gonna have company next week so I want to make sure I have it all ready to go look how pretty that foil is and then of course we have our card base here. And again, these colors together really show off the wild wheat, which I really like. And then the other card here. So look how cute. And this is exactly what the kit gives you. There's um, no alternatives on this one. And what other than I added the sequins. And, you know the gems or the pearls the pearls on this one and then the gems on this one um, what I like about these is I like these layers on the top and I like that th this is textured these already are distinctive I like that they have splatter and stitching on these I mean they're really pretty uh, let's see I use a sentiment on a card and I don't remember which set it's from help um, what does what does it look like carol they really are beautiful card stamp it up really does a nice job yeah oh yeah they cindy they really did on this kit especially i just love this kit there's a lot of kits i i'm excited to try the um the confetti birthday one the shaker card one i heard that one a lot of people like that one um i really like the little smile one with the little cards i think that whole little thing is such a cute gift idea um, and again, like I switched up my nectarines, but it worked out just fine. It would have been a little easier, I'm sure, had the, you know, flowers been, you know, set up right. Because like this leaf is little, this would have been taller, you know what I mean? So it would have been fine, but it works out. Just kind of put it where you want it, stick it underneath, make sure they're attached and you're good to go. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's see. To another around the sun. Oh, to another year around the sun. Um, is that in the grandkids set or the year? State starting to flag. Oh, yeah. Oh, two, oh, yeah, 243 a.m. Carolina. I don't blame you. It'll be there tomorrow. Um, Another year around the sun. Oh, around the year. Uh, another year around the sun. I got it. Um, let me see. I have an idea of what it might be, but is it in this catalog for sure? I'm going to look real quick because I kind of think I remember the set. It has a bunch of sentiments in it. Let me look. Anyway, so for those of you that forgot, um, or I mean, sorry, not forgot, but weren't here at the beginning, go back and check the beginning. I have Bingo that is ready for um, for purchase for this coming one. And then, oh, Caroline, I'm glad you did. 
And then um, don't forget my Hey Chuck class. Here's the sneak peeks, but I showed you the cards at the beginning. If you are interested in that kit, I have the kit and PDF and video link for you. If you are out of the country, you can still purchase the PDF and the video link. Now remember that my video links are, or my PDFs are pretty much measurements only, a little bit of helpful tips. It doesn't give you exact step-by-step -step because I give you a video. And so um, watching the video is going to be super helpful to you. Uh, you used it on the num card. Okay. Um, I'm going to look, but I don't see it so far. Uh, trucking along, the same thing. I'm going to have a class on that. That is at the end of August. It's going to be the same thing. You do not have to be current to, uh, or present to participate because it's, you're going to get the video link. You're going to get everything um, ahead of time so that you can go and watch the video and create your projects at your leisure. So don't worry about, um, oh gosh, I'm you know busy that day or I'm not going to be available that day or whatever because it's, you know, you're going to want to create at your leisure. So don't worry about that. Um, I use it on the known card. Oh, it's not current. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'll try and find it and I can put it on my um, business Facebook page. So give me a little bit of time to look it up and I'll find it and put it on there. Because I know which one you're talking about. I just have to remember which set it was with. Around the sun. I want to say there was one called a year, a year and a glance or a year or something. And I think it might be in that one. Um, but I will try and find it for you. Oh, amazing phrases stamp set from 2022. Mary, thank you so much. Carol, did you get the, Carol? Carol, was it Carol or Caroline? Carol, did you get that amazing phrases stamp set? Yay. Thank you, Mary Kay. So anyway, um, I had a really fun time. These are cute. I'm going to have to make some more. And of course, adding the embellishments. Well, you know, you got to add the bling, right? And um, you are welcome. Let's see. You are, let me look, let me look. Bonus days. Last week, don't forget, if you guys um, get your orders in, Anything towards the end of the month, anything that you need last minute, get those in so you can get your bonus uh, dollars. You want to definitely get those by the end of the month. So you can spend them August 1st through the 31st. And then again, kit sale starts next week. I didn't even put the date on here. I think it starts the 2nd. Maybe it starts the first. Wow. Sorry. First or second. First or second. I think it's the first. I think it's the whole the month of August. Beautiful card. I also like the light green kit. Anyone know the name of that one? The light green kit. Was that the, the little cards that I did, Melanie? Let me show you. Because this one is a light green. Let me find it. It's called a little smile. If this is the one. Thank you, Mary Kay. August 1st through 30th. Is it this one? The light green. And then you get this little pouch with your cards in it. I really like this one. It's called a little smile. And this is the little beachy one. So you've got little cards that, you know, just you are amazing. You can put a little gift card. Just a little smile. My day is better because of you. And I lost one. Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Thank you. Thank you. It means so much. Just cute little cards. All right. So thank you, everybody. I hope to see you Sunday. Now, I'm going to tell you that um, our company starts coming on Sunday. So I think I, I should be here for uh, um, a video. I will be posting on my Facebook page if I'm not able to make it for a live video. However, I will next week uh, be available. I will not do a video on Wednesday, but it'll be on Thursday, but I'm not positive on that either. It's that whatever day the, 
the new product gets here. I will get it overnighted. And I think we can order the second, if I remember right. And I will get that ordered. And so maybe it will be Wednesday night. So whatever day the next day is, that is when I will have it. So make sure you subscribe and link below for the um, notifications because I will put up a, a um, scheduled event so that you can at least click and say notify me and you should be notified anyway. And then that way you can um, check in with the, uh, the video with all the new stuff that I'm gonna share with you. So I hope you'll join me. I'm hoping my granddaughter will be here um, to help me with that. I don't know their schedule going to see friends. So uh, let's see. Stripes in the parakeet party color. Is it foil, Melanie? Because I have a foil one that maybe you're talking about. It's green. Um, oh, yeah. I, Melanie, I love the beach one. I'm glad you guys are using the kits. All right. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out on my Facebook page. I'll give you updates when I'm coming live and all that good stuff, but make sure you are also um, notified below. And um, that way when I do my unboxing, you'll see it. Don't forget to uh, look forward to the paper share. It will be coming soon. I will be doing a paper share. Um, I will get the information out to you as soon as I can. Um, you know what, Melanie? That one says is something with friends. I don't have it out here because I think I used them all. But I think it was something with friends or friendship or something like that. So when you go into the, um, when you go into Stampin' Up and you type in kits at the top, all the kits will pop up and the pictures. And so you can just scroll down and look at the ones you like um, and you'll see it on there. I just, I just saw it on there a little while ago because I thought I had it and apparently I used it because I just have pieces left at a box. So... Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like the kit. Well, enjoy. Use your bonus rewards for your kits next month. And they'll even be cheaper. So, all right. The one we did tonight, don't forget, is thir only $13. Oops. And you get dimensionals, too. All right. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your night. I will see you with an unboxing very soon. Bye, everybody.